Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use layer masks to make non-destructive edits to create a uh, pretty simple composite in Photoshop. The first step to this is that you're going to have to, of course, plan your image. And you're going to want to find images to mix together that have similar lighting, uh, similar focal length, and um, similar angle of view. So in this case, my plan is to use um, multiple elements from this image to place into this image. And so the first thing I'm going to do after I've taken the images and made a plan is I'm going to open the uh, images in separate windows. So you know I have my tabs up here with my separate images. And in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the dog and actually the floor and the fluffy rug from this picture and I'm going to replace this floor in this picture with the dog and the fluffy rug and the wood floor. And then just for fun, I'm going to do a second um, addition where I'm going to take this plate of lobster and I'm going to put the plate of lobster here on this table. So I'm going to start with the dog. And one of the things that uh, would make this a destructive edit and therefore I don't want to do is I don't want to simply cut out the dog like make a selection of the dog and copy and paste him into the other picture. Instead, I want to be sure that I grab the dog, the floor, and a good amount of border around him. So I don't need to copy this entire picture in, although I can, but instead I think what I'm going to do is just select the part of the picture that I need plus some extra space around it. So in this case, I've gone to my selection tool. It's a second tool down. I'm just doing the rectangular marquee and I can just pull it around the dog, the rug, and the lower bottom of my, lower half of my image. Now I've made a selection that includes the dog, the rug, and the floor. And that is an active selection as is evidenced by the marching ants marquee. Now I can go to edit, copy, and then click on the tab for my other image that I wanna place it into and go to edit, paste. And it will place the dog into sort of the middle of the picture. Now what I'm going to do is go to the Move tool. That's the top tool right here. And before I do anything else, I'm just going to move the dog into position approximately where I figure I want him to be in the scene. Let's see. <clears throat> now I also want to add this plate with the lobster. Now in your case, probably your, your images or your elements of your image are gonna be coming from multiple different images, but let's just pretend this was yet another window that I had opened. I could do a similar thing and I could just select the, the plate of lobster. Actually, I don't even need as much as that, but I do wanna give myself a good border. So I'm gonna select that, okay? And I can say, edit, copy. I'll go into this uh, file that's my background essentially okay and I'll say edit paste and now I have the lobster in here as well now if I needed the better part of the entire image I could also just copy the whole thing all together and I could do a select all which would be selecting the entire image edit copy and then click here and do edit paste. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have the elements that I need. Now you'll see if you look over here that I have three layers. It automatically gives me three layers. The first layer is my background layer. That's the base picture and I always use your background should be the picture that we're going part of the picture that we're going to see the most of or that creates the structure for the picture. Then you see I have my dog and floor right here and then I have my dish of lobster right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna label them because I like things to be labeled. So I'm gonna call this dog and I've simply just clicked on the text there or double clicked and I'm gonna call this dog and I'm gonna call this one lobster. Perfect, okay. Now I'm gonna to wanna to work with one layer at a time. So I'm going to turn the visibility off on the lobster layer because I don't wanna deal with that until I've done the dog. Okay, <clears throat> now I shot or selected these images specifically because of the camera angle. If I move this over, oopsie, I'm moving the wrong layer, sorry. Let's see. I'm, I wanna move the dog layer, so let me select that. I'm going to move this over, and you can see that the camera angle is about the same here, OK? 
okay? So I'm gonna, that, that should work to my advantage, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna make, uh, I wanna sort of cut out the dog here and but leave the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer mask to this dog layer. And if you don't know about making layer masks, you should watch the previous video that I posted about layer mask basics in Photoshop. So I'm gonna click on the dog layer and I'm going to click on the make a new layer mask button right here on the bottom of the layers tab. So I added a layer mask. Now I'm gonna actually start by just roughing it in. I'm not gonna do a selection or anything like that. I'm just gonna kind of rough it in. And what I mean by that is I'm going to paint with black in my layer mask and you'll remember that black hides white reveals. So I'm gonna click on my layer mask, click on my paintbrush tool. I'm gonna to get kind of a big brush to start out with here. Okay, so again, that was I went to my paintbrush. If I wanna make my paintbrush bigger and smaller, I can go here. You can also use the bracket keys, but I usually just use that, okay? And now I'm painting with black in my layer mask. I'm not getting too close to any important edges here. I'm just sort of smoothing it in a bit, okay? And I'm gonna just do the rough bits of it, not getting too close, not getting too fine here. Okay, let's see. And again, I'm just, I'm painting with black in my layer mask. Okay. Now that looks pretty good so far. And now I'm getting into where it's a little bit trickier. And that's around the edge of the dog and where the dog is gonna kind of come in. There we go. And where the dog is gonna come in on the scene here. And so now that I have that set, I'm gonna use a function in Photoshop that's called the Select and Mask uh, feature, the, re the uh, Refine Mask feature. And so what I can do is I'm gonna click on any selection tool. So on this case, I'll go back to the marquee selection tool and I'm in this layer and I'm gonna to go to select and mask. Okay. Now you can see where I have painted in the mask, that's where it looks red. So what the select and mask feature does is it allows me to more clearly refine my mask and refine my edges. And the area that I'm really um, interested in fixing is where the dog will inter intersect with this blue uh, tablecloth or whatever. Now, keep in mind that there are some preview modes that you can deal with here. And if I hold this down, you'll see that there's the onion skin mode that previews like this. There's the marching ants mode that previews it like it's a selection. The overlay that shows areas in red will be not visible in this and the areas that you can see, you'll be able to see. There's on black, on white, black and white, which just shows the real edges, or on layers where you can see the layer beneath it. And in this case, it might actually help me to work directly with this on layers view, because then I can see through and see how it's gonna look sort of in real time for lack of a better way to describe it, okay? So the part again that I'm trying to, to refine is this area here, okay? So I'm gonna view it on layers, oopsie, close up view. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of my tools right here to further refine my selection or my mask. So I'm zooming in, I use Command Plus to zoom in. You could also use your magnifying glass tool right over here, whichever one you like to do is fine. And this is the type of thing that can be really difficult to mask because we have this fur and this fuzz and whatnot on the dog's head, but we'll see how good we can get it. And some of it we're gonna to have to manually sort of paint in ourselves and some of it the selection tools will help us with. This first tool uh, that we see is part, is the, the quick selection tool. And the quick selection tool might actually help us to start getting the dog. But in this case, I think instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this second tool, which is the refine mask edge tool. And if I paint along the edges here in some kind of wide swaths, and I'll zoom out maybe a little so you can see it. As I'm painting, you'll see that it's refining the edges of that mask. It takes a little time to do it. You have to give it a second to think, but I'm just swiping that refine edge, okay? And you have to start with some kind of a mask to begin with, but then as you do the refine edge, it starts giving you like a pretty nice defined edge to your piece. And if I look at this, the areas of fur 
those would be the hardest parts for me to try to mask in convincingly, and they actually look pretty good, okay? So I'll paint down here a little bit more. I'm going to work this edge a little bit more maybe. That looks pretty good, okay? And we have this more fur, of course, because we have a fur rug just to add to the difficulty level here. Oopsie. I'm going to zoom back out. Now in this case, actually, I just realized that I want to kind of go to the edge of the um, of the tablecloth here so that I still see this wooden floor. So in that case, if I know that there's an area that I want to paint in or paint out, I can do that using the third tool down. And this adds or subtracts things to my selection or to my masked area the same way that it would if I was painting with black or painting with white within the main Photoshop tab. So if I paint with the plus option here, it will, you'll see, add to what's, uh, what is viewed, if you will. And if I paint with the minus, it'll take away from the parts that are viewed. So I'm going to try to find the edges of this uh, tablecloth here. And then I'm going to switch back to my, uh, my plus, because here I actually want to see the wood floor. So I'm just going to find the edges, reveal where I want to reveal, and hide where I want to hide. And remember that if you flub it up, you can undo it. It's not a problem. Okay. Now here with the dog's ear, I realize I've lost a little bit of the detail of the dog's ear, so I'm going to go here into the plus area, and I'm just going to kind of refine that in a little bit better. That looks good. That looks believable. Okay. I'll go back. and you, There's a lot of going back and forth here. I'm going to go back into my... Uh, uh, refine edge tool here and I'll paint around here because I see a few problem spots might get better might get worse and got a little bit worse I think I'll have to paint that in manually that's fine so again I'm painting with the plus I'm in the third tool down that's just the direct mask tool and I'll just paint with the plus find the edge of the dog's ear I got a little bit too much so I'll paint in the minus mode Okay, this is looking pretty good. Okay, now I need to fix this part, so I'm going to go back to my refine edge. And I'll go right along here, and it'll take a second. It's taking a second to think here. This happens quite a bit with this, in my experience. And I think I might actually need a bigger brush in this case. Sometimes helps. This is looking pretty good. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. It's got me a nice edge on the dog here. And then what I'm going to do is same thing. I'm going to go back to the um, to just the regular quick masking, and I will take these little bits where it's a little bit translucent, and I'll just fix those. So any bits that don't look quite right, I'm just going to paint it and fix. You have to be a little patient here. It's not a quick fix. It is it is work. There's not a as one of my friends once said, there's not a make it look cool button in Photoshop. You have to actually work your way through it. Now I'm going to zoom out. And this is actually looking pretty good. Now I'm going to have to fix this bit, but I might just do that in Photoshop, uh, like just go back to the regular Photoshop uh, dialog box and just do that in the straight masking tool. But right now, <clears throat> I'm not going to use any of these global refinements or anything. I've, I've really, I think, worked it in pretty well. I think he's looking pretty good. So right here, I have an, out, an option to output it to a layer mask, a selection, a new layer, etc. I'm going to leave it on layer mask and I'm going to click OK. And now you can see here's the dog placed into the image and now I just need to fix this. Okay. And I think I'm seeing a little bit too much of the wood floor. I kind of want to cut it off as if this wall comes down to here. So I'm going to zoom in again. And I'm going to uh, paint with um, black, okay, because I want to hide some of this floor. So I'm going to go in my layer mask. I'm going to paint with black. And if I go too far over, it's fine. I'll go fix it. It's not a problem. Let's see. Here's the edge of it. Now I just need to see what that looks like because I have to make a little bit of an aesthetic choice here too. That's not too bad. I want this to be a little bit more straight. Oh, I need to move this over a bit too. I notice it's nudged over. Let me just tweak that. 
Okay, that's not really straight enough, but that's okay. I can, I'll fix that. I'm gonna zoom in. And I'll go back to white because I want to kind of show this. So I'm going to paint with white. Remember, white reveals black hides. I'm still in the layer mask. I'm going to get a brush that's a little bit smaller. Not quite that small, maybe. And a little trick, if you click once and then shift click. Oops, I'm doing black. I meant to do white. If you click once and then you shift click, it does what it's like connecting the dots and it'll make a really perfect straight line. Okay, and then I need to zoom in a little bit better because I need to paint with a little bit of black just in this little teeny, 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 tiny spot. And I'll fix that a little bit. Now, this is seeming, this seems, you know, reasonable, I would dare say, okay, that that dog is perhaps there. And now I'm going to go through this process again with the lobster layer. But in this case, I think I'm just gonna basically manually paint that entire layer mask in, which is also something you can do. I'm not gonna base it on a selection or anything else. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, paint out the parts I don't wanna see. So I'm going to add a layer mask to the lobster layer, and then I'm going to begin painting with black on the parts of it that I don't wanna see. Again, I'm painting in the layer mask, painting with black. I strongly recommend put some good music on or find a good podcast to listen to or a nice audio book or your favorite radio station or something to kind of just zen out while you're doing this kind of stuff. Because it's it gets to be, you know, it's, it's time consuming. Okay, so I'm just, again, I'm just painting with black in the layer mask, so I'm hiding selectively. I could try to refine edge on this one too, but I tell you what, I tried it before and because of the way the color tonalities work, it has a little bit more trouble using those auto detection features, but I can do, I think, a pretty good job myself. So I'm just gonna zoom in and this is just gonna take a little time and a little patience, okay? So I'm painting with black. Again, if I flub up and go over like that, it doesn't matter. I can paint with white, bring it back. That's why it's a non-destructive edit, okay? So I'll paint some more with black. Alrighty. And again, I'm not going to make this perfect for the because of the time limit on the video. I don't want to have the video be too incredibly long. And also watching somebody else do Photoshop is somewhat similar to watching paint dry in terms of its level of being thrilling. So I'm going to just work on that a little bit more. Okay. And again, you know, I'm just going to rough this part of it in. But imagine that I was doing a really like thorough, super thorough job. and you know, the other thing is I can base this on a selection. I can use my refined mask. I can paint it in manually. It doesn't matter how I get to the end result. As long as I use a layer mask, then I've done it non-destructively. And as long as it comes out the way I want it to come out, it doesn't matter. So a lot of times with Photoshop, you know, when I'm teaching Photoshop, people will say, oh, well, can't you also do it that way? And the answer is nine times out of 10, yeah, you can do it that way. Um, but you know, you should do it the way that makes the most sense to you. So if you'd like to start with a selection for your mask, you can do that. If you prefer to just paint it in manually, you can do that. Okay. And so I'm just gonna, again, this is a pretty, pretty poor job that I'm doing, but I'm trying to just be a little expeditious, if you will. And let's just imagine that I'd finished that. It's funny, I, I think I've been doing Photoshop for long enough too, at the risk of sounding old, that these amazing selective mask tools they have now were not available in earlier versions. So you just got pretty comfortable with this sort of painting in masks and taking your time. Zen in the art of Photoshop, if you will, okay? And so I'm gonna just, again, I'm not gonna make this perfect. I keep saying that and then I just like can't stop myself from continuing, but whoopsie. Ooh. Did a little command Z undo there. So let's just say this is close enough. Of course, it it's not close enough. We would have to work it a little bit more. That if I want to alter the position of that, I can go to my move tool, click on my lobster layer, and then I can move it to if there's a better spot on the table where it makes more sense, like I don't know, maybe there or maybe a little bit over here. That looks great. Okay, now he's looking at the lobster, I guess. Um, and so here I would have my uh, my finished piece. I have a um, 
I have a background layer to which I've added this dog and floor and a plate of lobster like you do. Okay, that's it.